What's up, everybody? It's Village of Science back with another video. Uh, what we're about to do today is change the oil in this dark. It's time to change it. It is time to change that oil. Like I said, oil change time. So I'm going to give you all a quick video on it, man. So it's time to change that oil. So this is the tools that you're going to need for this oil change. Obviously, you're going to need an oil drain plug, uh, an oil drain pan, uh, seven quarts. Um, funnel, a 13 millimeter ratchet, socket, and a 3 fourths uh, ratchet. You're definitely going to need this to uh, get off the um, the oil filter because you know, when I first started changing my first oil change, it was so hard to get it off, man, with my hand. So I went and got this at AutoZone. I, think I got it a long time ago, so it might be like 10 bucks. You're gonna need trolley jack and you're gonna need some jack stands. Um, the jack stands, you kinda, it's up to you if you want them or not, but also I'm gonna need the oil. You might wanna get the zero, uh, zero WD-20, the recommended, uh, and frame guard, you need an XG-160. So these are the tools that you're gonna need for this oil change right here. So uh, also, I don't really care about the oil, what it brand it is. I care more about my filter, because if it's not filtering the car right, if it's not filtering the oil right, and you're, you're going to replace your oil even faster than what it is. To me, all oil is the same. It's all the same shit, other than regular motor oil, synthetic oil, zero W twenty. That's what you need. So let's get to it. Hey. And the profits are back, and the lawyers is back, and my crazy is black, and my guy is black, and the angels are black, and you got to stay focused. Also, you need glasses. So when you get under the hood, so nothing won't fall in your eyes and none of that good stuff. I learned that the hard way, shit will fall, crumbs and shit will fall in my eye all the damn time. But make sure you got some uh, some some glasses, some goggles or whatever. So first thing first, you want to jack the car up, get it jacked up. Uh, also, make sure the spot that you have is actually metal, no plastic. It's going to bend the plastic if you try to jack it up. So make sure you have it on metal. Get y'all a little bit closer. See, as you would have pumped it up, it would have uh, started bending the, the plastic on there. So make sure you get that metal spot. This is where I normally uh, pump mine at, on the metal part, a little further in. Shit can't happen, so I make sure I use uh, my jack stand so shit, the shit won't fall down. So you better be safe than sorry. Shit, take the extra step and uh, make sure you uh, use a jack stand. But like I so said, you don't have to. But it's at your own risk. Now the car is jacked up all the way. So I want to show y'all something real quick. All I gotta do is ease this down a little bit. You don't have to, uh, not all the way. Just tighten it back up so it can be just like that. So both sides are, uh, both sides are uh, sturdy. But yeah, this is the way you do it, just in case. And, but you don't actually need another, uh, you don't have to use the other uh, jack stand, but you can just, just use that because you already got the other side secure. So, two, uh, taking off the, 
the underbody panel or cover, as you want to say, to get that removed. This is when you. This is when it's time to actually put the goggles on or whatever you have. I take that back. You don't have to remove the underbody cover. You already got a. Um, well, my wife ran over something, so this shit came off. This is the oil, and then the oil filter. I know y'all can't see, but right here, oil drain, and then right here, oil filter. Like I say, my wife ran over some shit, so they came off, so it makes my job even easier. Oh, but you would need a, um, a eight millimeter uh, socket uh, wrench to use it. So that right there is the oil filter, and this is the oil drain. So actually, this is step two. You might finna drain the oil using a 13 millimeter socket with a three four uh, uh, red, uh, socket wrench. So now you want to hand uh, twist it with your uh, with your hand to make sure you. Uh, So now you want to hand, uh, hand twist it with your uh, hand. But obviously, if you don't, the oil will get all over the ramp, the ratchet, and everything else. But try to do your hand from uh, untwist it from above, so you don't get on your hands.
So now we're gonna put the uh, cap back on. Make sure you don't over tighten the, uh, the bolt or it will strip and you will need a new oil drain pan. So step four, now it's time to move on to the oil filter. But yeah, this thing right here, man, I don't know what they did with this car, but this is like the hardest filter to get off. Remember my first, my bad, my first two oil changes I did, it, it was easy. After the third one, it started being, getting tighter because I can just get it off with my hand easily. Now it's so fucking hard. But yeah, man, make sure y'all have this thing right here. that drain for about five minutes. So the fourth step, what you wanna do is take out that new filter, get some oil from this one. Or you can dab your hand. Okay. And dab your finger inside the oil. Just put it around the, uh, the lip. And then around here. So it can screw in really easy. And then so it can pretty much stay lubricant and sealed. So put it in the screw. But that's, that's it for that part. Get this oil thing tightened. So the hand tighten it first. I use this one more time and I try to tighten it a little bit tighter just in case. Flip it that way. Like always you don't want to tighten it too tight because if you do you'll fuck up your stuff and you will have to pretty much get a new uh, engine at that point or a new little whatever that part is I'm not sure if you can order that shit but. to um, so first thing if you want to go ahead and put the oil in and crank the car up and all that good stuff you can do that but I know I for sure sealed my stuff so if you're not for sure make sure uh, that you don't see any leaks when you pour the oil in there so you can do that stuff first um, but right now what I'm about to do is get rid of the jack frame. so you're going to put the frame in back inside this and just throw it away
So now we're down to the last step from the port of oil inside the car. So for the next step, you want to reset the oil light. So put the car in run. See, it's in run. Hit that. Um, hit that uh, accelerator pedal three times within ten seconds, and then cut the engine off. And now it's time to crank the car up. And we should not get an oil light. Nope, no oil light. License plate light out, which is just a it's LED light back there. It's not out. I don't know why Dodge didn't make their vehicle. This vehicle normally um I let the engine run for about five minutes or so. And that's what my dad told me, just let it run for a little bit. Don't just take off immediately. Let it run. And make sure y'all hit that notification bell so y'all can be notified every time I upload. Um, that's pretty much the end of the video, man. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, leave a, leave a comment. And once again, make sure y'all hit that notification bell so y'all can be notified every time I post a video. My, I'm not doing this for no reason. I'm doing this for y'all benefit, man. Uh, this is Brother Josiah, and I'm out. Peace. Uh -huh.